morning gents, uh, welcome to another video and today I'm going to do a video on something new um, something that's been in my possession for a little while now um, and has been kind of, kind of metaphorically killing me um, because I wanted to use it before today um, obviously I didn't want to do a shave with it until I had a chance to do a full first impressions video um, I think you all know what it is by the title of the video because you've clicked on it to see it um, yeah, here's some music in the background today, hopefully YouTube don't whinge about it um, because they have a habit of whinging about music apparently um, but it's one of my favourite classical pieces um, Gustav Holst, Planet Suite um, hopefully it's not going to overpower the video I will uh, find out in editing I guess um, just in case, I'm going to turn it down a smidge because I don't want to ruin the video you know there we go let's turn it down so yeah, anyway, the product. You know what it is because you've clicked on the video, but uh, on the off chance you haven't seen the heading, you've either been looking elsewhere and just randomly clicking around, or you've just found a way of viewing it um, without knowing what it is. Anyway, it is the wonderful 1912 Magnum with uh, Mr. Selleck. Right there. Right there. And... Uh, there and it's, it's, it's a phenomenon. Um, we already knew what the scent was like um, from the sample bath soaps that were sent out with the Le Bleu uh, limited edition. Uh, so I know it's fantastic, but just because I want to, that's the soap from Magnum. Wonderful scent. Um, now I'm led to believe, and from, it is familiar. So it's modelled on a molten brown scent called Temple Tree. Um, regardless of whether it is or isn't, it's a fantastic, fantastic scent. So, we're going to have a shave. Um, we know what 1912 is like, it's absolutely phenomenal. Um, so it's all about the scent and the shave today, just because we can. So, we've got probably one of the most iconic pieces of classical music playing we've got. A fantastic, and I, I'm going to use the same word, iconic soap, um, with an icon of the 80s on the label right there, and a scent that is just mind blowing. Um, so we're going to have to use some uh, pretty decent gear to have a, a fantastic shave to go with. So it goes without saying that the brush is a Cadman 26 mil silver tip nut. The razor is. A razor rock bazooka with an extra superior stainless blade in. I've already got toweled, but just to complete the experience of Magnum, we're going to have a bit of a face wash with the Magnum soap. Um, so, just going to uh, lather a bit up in the old uh, in your hands. It lathers so easy. Just going to wash the old wash. Get the old factory going. And that is a lovely scent. Gotta love it. If you're not familiar with this movement, it's uh, Mars. The, uh, the Bringer of War. Fantastic bit of music. Absolutely stunning. I love heavy metal, hard rock, anything of that nature, but it's all born of the classics. You just you just listen to the way it's all structured. And you can hear it in the classics when you've only got to listen to guitarists like Malmsteen, uh, Steve Vai is inspired. Uh, they're all or one way or another inspired by the classics. You listen to how the phrasing goes, it's phenomenal. Anyway, I'm waffling about something that's not shaving. So, we've hot toweled, we've washed the old face. Let's get this going. So, I'm going to face lather. <coughs> Can't say it's my preferred way of going. I'm going with a relatively dry brush. 
insert random jokes here. Um, I'm going to load it pretty heavy. Now the scent in the pot is quite quite strong. Certainly in comparison to Le Bleu, and I'm a fan of a stronger scent, I will say. Um, so this works wonders for me. Absolute wonders. Yeah. The 1912 loads easy. Very, very, very easy. I mean, it's, it's a relatively hard soap by artisan standards. Uh, it's not quite triple milled, but, and by that I mean it's, it's nowhere near as hard as, say, a puck of Mitchell's wall fat. So, I've got the brush absolutely chock full of uh, 1912 in the magnum and we're not going to waste it because there's oodles and doodles of pre-lasm in there so just to look a bit silly I wipe it on the old face put it down dip the tips just a tiny bit in and we're going to build a lana now I uh, I enjoyed James Riley's video yesterday of uh, how he builds a lather based off the length of a song. Sort of between three and five minutes. Now, if I was to do that to this, I'd be here all day. He says as the uh, first part of the, mo the movement finishes. Build up a good lather is important. James is right, he's spot on. If you haven't got a good lather, you ain't got nothing. Add some more water. Now the scent when you're lathering, it is lighter. But it's still very much present. And as you can see, it builds very quickly to a usable lather. We're going to add some more water. Inhaling 1912 is not recommended. Unless, of course, you've invented a DE small enough to fit up your nostrils. But I doubt there's many people crazy enough to do that. So, because I've only got like a day's growth. I'm not pulling out the, uh, the R41, which I do like to test soaps with. I also know 1912 is phenomenal. There. We're good to go. There's stacks, stacks of leather going on in there. Loads on the face, loads on the brush. Let's get rocking. Or should I say, let's get Baroque in. Terrible classical music joke there. Um, so, it appears that uh, we are on Venus. Let's get shaving. So,
typical 1912 performance, absolutely spot on. Um, this is my audition for Harvey Two Face in the next Batman film. Uh, they're going to reboot. I'm joking. Go. That is phenomenal. 1912 typical performance. A wonderful, wonderful scent to boot. No, I don't know if. Uh, the rumours are true. There may be a balm to accompany Magnum at some point. It'd be nice if it was. Splash would be even better because the scent is stunning. And uh, Alton Brown do a few scents, but this is temporary. Is not one of them. So Darren, that'd be fantastic if you could get a uh, get a temple tree, a temple tree, a magnum scent to match. Now, when it first arrived earlier in the week, as is uh, the way with my purchases at work, um, colleagues like to have a whiff because they see the boxes and they think something shaving related in there, and. Uh, 99 times out of uh, 100 it's soap so they know that it's going to smell good and uh, Magnum went down a hit with everyone who had a whiff um, so much so that the uh, even the bearded gentleman that I work with um, said they would actually buy it so if this does make the main line of sense I expect it to be a big hit. There we go. So, <coughs> excuse me. So we've all had a fantastic week. It's been a very busy one for me. Yesterday was a bit of a bust though. Um, it's gone midnight on uh, Thursday night, Friday morning, and uh, I just heard my son crying out for me. He was not well at all all day Friday and still not very well this morning. Poor little monster. So I, I unfortunately had to stay home and look after him instead of being at work. Um, so I missed out on the team lunch. Which, uh, from what I can gather, was going to be very nice because the place they were going had a very nice menu. I say very nice, I've never eaten there. Um, it's a Hungry Horse pub called the Hem Heath, and uh, they had an interesting looking burger in there. It's called the Elvis Burger. Now, I wasn't sure if it was in bad taste or not, but. Basically a burger with a spicy peanut sauce, so imagine like a saute type sauce and strawberry jam. Um, that was interesting. I'm not sure if I'd eat that, but you never know. I would have probably 
probably gone for a bit of a mixed grill because I do like gammon and sausages and steak and all things I shouldn't have. There we go. Two passes done with a wonderful magnum. Now, I don't need to tell you about 1912 performance, but I will. Um, I was possibly. How can I say it? Possibly? No, there's no possibly. I was a skeptic from the beginning. And I realised my sentence is very disjointed at the minute. Um, but I was a skeptic from the beginning when I first started back into traditional wet shaving and proper soaps um, that tallow was the way and it stands true to this day some of my favourite soaps are tallow um, but all the vegetable based soaps that I tried just didn't really seem up to scratch so I was quite hesitant to try veggie soaps I've tried, I've tried one or two prior to Wickham's and they were okay, you know, nothing stood out, they were, they were found wanting, for lack of a better term, in many respects. They didn't have as much glide and believe me, I experimented with the lather. Um, I tried heavy loading and all, all the usual tricks to no avail. And then I came by a pot of cashmere from Darren's new 1912 line. And uh, being a skeptic, was still there. I was like, nah, it's vegetable soap. It's not going to be up to, up to it. And then, when the scent got me straight away, the lovely fresh scent. The best movement of all, Jupiter. Anyway, um, and then the ease of loading. I was like, okay, this is this is positive. And then I let the razor hit my face, and it just glided like Torval and Dean on the ice. It's wonderful. And it protected against all blades very well. Uh, and I thought, oh, this is pretty good. And then the, uh, the piece de la resistance of 1912, the post shave, hit. And it was stunning. To put not too fine a point on it. And I was hooked from there, so I now have four different scents in 1912. I need to get some more. Um, I really do. I need some. I need to try Club Cola. I do. And um, anyway, enough of waffling. We're on about Magnum here, and uh, so. Magnum. Magnum, Magnum, Magnum. It's, it's an iconic person on the pot. Light's changing in here, it's getting darker. We've got Tash from Magnum, PI. 
we've got a scent that is just phenomenal. Brilliant. Uh, we've got performance that is top notch. Not just top notch for vegan soaps. It's top notch. Um, it, it rides up there with equality to the very best in the world. Um, some say. I'm not, I'm not Clarkson, I'm not going to do that. Um, but it is, it is a stunning soap. It is a genuinely stunning soap. So I'm just getting lost in the music here. Um, it's, one of, it's one of the bits of music that gets right under your skin. It has to. Um, Gets me every time. Stunning bit of music. Pause for thought. Anyway, um, before all you see is just me zoning out to this particular part of Jupiter, um, which many of you may recognise as uh, other pieces of music. Jerusalem uh, is, is, is quite clearly the most famous wording put to this music. Um, it is stunning, like magnum. Um, I should do a video on this piece of music alone. Anyway, magnum, 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 magnum. It's as epic as this piece of music. Um, and this is a stunning piece of music because this is a stunning soap. It's very fitting that it comes at the end of the video. But I'm telling you how wonderful this is. Listen to the music and how wonderful it is and you'll appreciate how good this soap is. There. It's truly stunning, gents. Um, the scent is phenomenal. The performance is mind-blowing, and it's 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 another winner. It's a winner-winner chicken dinner. Um, it's everything that's good about shaving soap. It's got a great scent. The performance is phenomenal, and I know the post-shave is going to be superb. It already is. Um, so. Before I get more zoned out in the music, um, I'm going to say, gents, if you've got Magnum, hold on to it. Um, if you've not got Magnum, um, I hope the rumours are true that Darren is going to release it as a, a proper main main sort of catalogue of scents. Um, because it, it deserves to be, because it's brilliant. Um, it's very masculine. Um, and the ladies at work who smelled it were like... This is how a man should smell. It's a masculine scent. It is. It, and, and they're not wrong. It's... There's a real sweetness to it. Um, I can't put my finger on it. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm terrible. But it's, it's, it's really sweet yet. There's a woodiness going on. Couldn't tell you which wood or what the sweetness is, but it's bloody brilliant. Um, so yeah, if you've got it, hold on to it. If you haven't got it, pray to the shaving gods that Darren releases it as a main scent um, with matching splash and balm and soap and deodorant and everything else that can be released um, under the Wiccan brand. Um, Darren, I don't know what else you have planned, but uh, if you do, this scent has to come, has to come in it, because it's wonderful. Um, it is my favourite Wickham scent so far. Um, what more to say? I'm looking forward to the full week of shaving with this. Um, I will do a full weekly roundup at the end, um, as I normally do with every new soap that I use. 
and I'll tell you about the whole week's performance. I'll try it against different blades, uh, with different brushes, bowl lathering techniques, um, you name it, I'll try it, as long as I've got it. Um, so I've got Chevette, so I've got various DEs, open and closed comb, mild and aggressive, I've got synthetic brushes, bore brushes, I'm going to, I'm going to give it the full, the full range of workout. And, as is normal, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching, and uh, if you like the video and want to see more, very much appreciate your subscriptions and your thumbs up, the likes, because they all inspire me to do more for you guys. Um, so thank you gents, this has been my first impressions of 1912 and the Magnum from the wonderful Wickham Soap, the wonderful world of Wickham's. Because Wickham's make wonderful things. Their soaps are made of oils. And uh, their tubs might be made of springs. I don't know. Um, channeling my inner tigger there. Uh, so thanks for watching again, gents. I will see you again soon. Bye. <laughs>